Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now here's another duplication glitch that has been making its rounds on YouTube. So the console players have been using this as a rapid duplication glitch. But as usual on PC, it can be a whole lot more. So instead of just duplication, this glitch can also help you transfer wheels like F1s and Bennies. So I'll guide you through all that and how you can actually do all this pretty quickly. Now here are the things you need. You will need the arcade, the facility, the nightclub with your terabyte in its uh, basement 5 garage. And if you're using this glitch for duplication, you will need free allergies. These should be in the arcade garage if you want things to be fast. But if you don't mind the speed, you can basically put them in any other garage and you can call them out later. So what I have done is to include the following vehicles in my arcade garage. One Benny's vehicle, an F1 vehicle, and of course an Arena War EC to Duke. For the rest of the slots in the arcade garage, you can either fill them with allergies if you want to dupe more, or you can fill them with cars that you want F1 wheels or Benny's wheels on. So before I start on that glitch, those of you who have your modded terabytes and your basement 5 is currently empty, here's a very quick little tutorial to actually get your terabyte back into your basement 5 garage so that you can do this glitch in the same session. This is only a temporary fix, so once you change sessions, your terabyte garage will be empty once more. So get into your terabyte and then press E. Once you have the upgrade menu, I'll just change license plates because uh, that's the cheapest thing to change. And once you're done, just exit the vehicle and you can now proceed to your basement 5 garage. So as you can see, that little trick worked and your terabyte is here as well. So I'm currently in an invite-only session. You don't need a public session first. And what I'm going to do next is I am going to go into my CEO and I'm going to wait for Lester to give me the invites for both the facility heist as well as the apartment heist. So you will need those two before you can proceed with the glitch. It takes quite a number of minutes, but I will just skip the video until I got those two invites. So as you can see here on my phone, I have those two invites from Lester, from the facility and from the apartment. So once you have these two, what you can do straight away is to quit from your CEO. Now once you quit from your CEO, the next thing you'll want to do is to enter the terabyte from the side over on this blue circle. Once you are inside the terabyte, just check to see if your invites are still there. So once you are inside and you are no longer CEO, just pull up your phone and then select the facility heist. Press enter to accept and nothing will actually happen. Now what you're going to want to do next is to open up the interaction menu and go into CEO but do not press enter. Just hover over register as CEO and walk up to the terabyte exit. So once you are at the exit, you can start spamming enter. So keep spamming enter until the game puts you in the clouds. Thereafter, you can stop spamming and it will actually put you in the facility registered as a CEO. The next thing you want to do after spawning in the facility is to exit. Now there won't be a yellow circle at the exit, but you can just move up to that little control panel and exit the facility from there. It will give you the option and all you have to do is just to press enter. Once you're outside, test if you're glitched out. Just open up your weapon wheel and select a weapon. If your character immediately holsters it, that means you're glitched out. And also, you cannot jump while you are glitched out as well. So that's good news. Now what you're going to have to do now is to make your way to the LS car meet. But instead of doing job teleport, I'm just going to call in a CEO buzzard and fly there. And the reason why I'm doing this is because during the recording of this video, I don't want anything weird to happen to the glitch. But do feel free to try out job teleporting and see if it works for you.
So once you are outside the LS car meet place, you will need a vehicle to drive in with. And if you call the mechanic now, he will not deliver a car to you. So you can call him one time, two times or three times and he will still give you the same message. So what you can do here is to open up your interaction menu and call in your personal vehicle. Just make sure that your personal vehicle beforehand is a vehicle that can enter the LS car meet. So once your personal vehicle has spawned on the map, it doesn't have to be a specific tuner vehicle as long as you can enter the car meet. So just get into the vehicle and drive in. Now once you are inside the LS car meet, just get back into the vehicle and the next thing that you will want to do is to exit the LS car meet. Note however, the moment you exit and you see that you have spawned outside, you need to immediately press G. Because what we want to do here is to bring ourselves back into the car meet modification menu. So there you go, exiting and press G. And if you have glitched out and done this correctly, it will spawn you into this modification menu inside the car meet where it is empty. All you have to do right now is just to exit so that we can continue with the next part of the glitch. Once you spawn outside from here, you will find that you cannot move your car, well with the exception of revving your engine and moving your wheels. And this is actually good news. So what you want to do now is to exit the car and go to your arcade. Now what you can do is to steal a car from the street or use your CEO Buzzard or even the Kosatka Sparrow. All these three will work, but since my arcade is pretty nearby, I will just steal a car and I will be driving there. So right now I am outside my arcade. Since I did not prepare any free allergies inside the arcade, I'm just going to call the mechanic, yes it works now, and call in a free allergy. So this free allergy will be the vehicle that we actually put the dupe onto, but it doesn't exactly need to be in the arcade, it can be out here. So as long as it is the active vehicle, it will work. Now that the allergy has uh, spawned on the map, you can head right into your arcade. Now once inside the arcade, just go to the vehicle that you want to dupe. So I have an Arena War Issy which I prepared earlier. So you will need to go inside the Arena War Issy and then press G. So this glitch puts us in this weird background thing where you are actually under the map. And the modification menu from the LS Car Meet will come up shortly. There it is, so all you need to do right now is to buy something that is cheap, a licensed car plate for example, and after you have done that, you can immediately exit. So that will spawn you back into the arcade. So let us go out and take a look at the free elegy and what has happened to it. As you can see, it is still an allergy. So open up your interaction menu and return this vehicle. And after that, use the interaction menu to call it out again. As you can see, now that it has spawned back in, it has already turned into the Arena War Issy. So on PC, this will not save. If you wish to sell this, you need to sell this in the same session or now, because if you change sessions, it will revert. And this will sell for about 1.7 million provided all your options are maxed out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to return this to storage. I'm not going to sell it. And I have two more transfers based on this glitch that I wish to show you. So let me just return this vehicle to storage. And I'll call out a vehicle for the next transfer that we are doing. So even though you can't really see the phone in this glitch state, you probably will still be able to call the mechanic if you remember the proper steps, which is what I am doing now. So for the next part, what I'm going to show you is how to transfer F1 wheels with the same glitch. 
So this does not involve any free allergies, but you will need to have a target car in order to transfer the wheels onto. So what I am going to do is I am going to call out my Buckstar's burrito and transfer F1 wheels onto that. So this theory is actually very simple. So all you have to do right now is to call out the car that you want to transfer your F1 wheels on. Plus, you need to have an F1 vehicle in the arcade. And I mentioned that in the beginning of the video while I was prepping the arcade for this glitch. So let's just take a look at this Buckstar's burrito I have. It, it is stock, it has no upgrades whatsoever, and the wheels are still normal. Now we head back into the arcade, and the next thing that you would want to do is to go into your F1 vehicle. It can be any F1 vehicle that you own, and it needs to be an F1 vehicle. It cannot be a vehicle that you just have F1 wheels on. So once you go into the F1 vehicle, press G, and then we have this weird glitched out under the map scene again. And thereafter, you will see the modification menu pop up. So again, just change something simple and something cheap. That's all you need to do. And then you can exit the menu. So for an F1 vehicle, I think the cheapest thing to change would be either your primary or secondary color. Just put that to a common color and it will be very cheap for you to change. So once you press exit, we're back in this weird scene again and it will put you back into the arcade. So once you're back into the arcade, let's just run out and look at our Buckstar's burrito or your target car for F1 wheels. Now we see that there is no change, but what you want to do now is to open up your interaction menu and return the personal vehicle to storage and then call it out again. So you will see that the burrito has turned into an F1 vehicle. So this is just like a dupe, but we're not going for the duplication anyway. So just drive your F1 vehicle to the nearest LS Customs. And in LS Customs, what we want to buy here would be F1 wheels. And this is the reason why we need an F1 vehicle, not just any vehicle with F1 wheels. So over here, you can buy the rims that you want, the wheel color that you want as well, along with custom tire markings. Now I haven't tried performance mods. If you wish to try them on the Buckstar's Burrito, you can do so. Just let me know in the comments if those performance mods work for you. Now once you're done with all the modifications and buying the F1 wheels, you can exit LS Customs. So what I'm going to do here is to proceed on with the third glitch and that will be putting Benny's wheels on another car. So I'm just going to return this F1 vehicle first, which in fact is actually my Buckstar's burrito. And I'm going to call out another target vehicle that I want to put Benny's wheels on. So we pull up your phone, call the mechanic and call out your target car. So this time around, I'm just going to call out any vehicle in my inventory that does not have any funny wheels on. They will just have stock wheels so you'll be able to see how Benny's wheels will glitch on this vehicle. So I'm just going to call out this hot rod blazer that Rockstar gave for free quite some time back. I think that was last year. And the uh, vehicle is still stock. I haven't upgraded anything, especially the wheels. So we're going to attempt to put Benny's wheels on this. So once this hard rod blazer is out, just make your way back into the arcade where you should already have prepared a Benny's vehicle. For me, I'm using the minivan custom as it is one of the few Benny's vehicles that I have. So just get into the minivan custom or your Benny's vehicle and then press G. By right now, you should be familiar with this scene right before it puts you in the modification menu. So again, you only need to change one thing. So just go for something cheap and once you are done with that, you can exit the menu. Now spawning back into the arcade, just exit your vehicle and we go outside to see our hot rod blazer 
or your target vehicle for Benny's wheels. So here it is, nothing has changed. So open up your interaction menu and return the vehicle to storage. And after you do that within the same menu, call it out again. So as the vehicle arrives, you can see that it has turned into a minivan custom as well. So what we're going to do here is to drive all the way to Benny's workshop, or if your Arena War workshop is nearer, that can work as well. But I would rather prefer Benny's because I do not want the vehicle to be saved anywhere else. So once you're inside Benny's workshop, you can purchase your choice of Benny's wheels for the rims, the colors, and even the custom tire walls. And if you want to buy anything else, you can. It may or may not transfer to the Hot Rod Blazer, but that doesn't matter. So once you're done buying all the things you need, then it's time to exit Benny's workshop. So what we have done here is actually three glitches in a row. So with this glitch, you can dupe, you can put on F1 wheels, and you can put on Benny's wheels all in the same session. And not only in the same session, but you only have to do the glitch out once. It's a rather long glitch out, but I would say that if you actually prepare your target and your donor vehicles properly, you can actually do multiple vehicles very, very quickly, whether you're duping them or putting F1 wheels or even Benny's wheels on them. So what I've done now is I've gone to creator mode and I've come back into an invite only session just to show you that the wheels do stick. So here's the hot rod blazer. And the next one I am going to show you is the Buckstar's burrito. So if the transfer has stuck, it should have F1 wheels when it spawns. While the vehicle calling is on cooldown, so I'll just do a quick teleport to where the Buckstar's burrito is and I'll just go into the garage and show you. And here you are. So you can see that the Buckstar's burrito is here, and you can also see the F1 wheels which we glitched on earlier. So exact tire markings, exact color, and now it even has my custom license plate. Now I'm going to do another job teleport, to another garage where the Arena War IC was supposedly duped. I did mention that it would actually revert back to an elegy, and here's proof to show you that it does not say across sessions. And over here, my elegy is still an elegy. So a very quick note to those who really want to save the dupes, you have to do the PC save method, which may or may not unglitch you. So that's the reason I did not do that in this video. It was because I wanted to show all three glitches while I was glitched out, so I did not do the PC save. If you do not know how to do the PC save method, I have left a link in the description, which will lead you to a video that teaches you how to do that. And that brings us to the end of this long video. Big thanks to everyone who stayed throughout the video just to see all three glitches being done. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.